G'day, I'm Joel. I'm a personal trainer from Bondi Beach, Australia. And in March 2020, I had a tumour removed from my brain. I created this YouTube channel to bring motivation, support and insights to anyone going through a brain surgery journey of their own. I would love to help as many patients and their families as possible. If what I'm saying is helpful, please like and subscribe. How scary is this? I didn't know if my brain tumor was cancerous and malignant or benign for seven years until we biopsied it when I had that brain surgery and get it cut out. So I had a really good question come up in a brain tumor forum I'm in on Facebook the other day. And the person wanted to know, can you find out what the brain tumor is without biopsying it? What biopsy mean is cutting in and taking a small fraction of the tumor and taking it off for testing and finding out specifically what it is, what grade, what stage, and what type of tumor it is. This gives you a, a massive narrative on your um, surgery needs, your outcomes, your predicted future, and how, how dangerous your situation is or isn't. So they want to know, can you tell what type of tumor it is without biopsying? And the simple answer is no. You need that tissue to take it away for specific testing to find out. Many surgeons can look at MRIs and other testing and other blood tests and get a pretty good idea of what the, uh, what the tumor is. But sadly, you need to cut into your brain to find out exactly what it is and this this was a massive, gigantic kind of conundrum in my story. So when I first found out I had a tumor, I went to see the sur the brain surgeon just happened to be right near the, uh, the MRI place that I went to. He said to me, Joel, this tumor looks nasty. It's in a really dangerous place. I can't cut in and tell you what it is specifically. Because if I cut into that part of your brain, it'll really mess up your daily functions and your walking and your coordination and your swallow. So for seven years, I had this limbo of living a normal life, working, having relationships, etc., etc., but knowing there was a, quote, nasty lesion in the back of my brain, we didn't know what it was. There was a lot of underlying subconscious anxiety through those years, and we'll go on to more about this in another video. But yeah, I was, I was pretty much constantly just underlying worried about my brain for like seven years. Um, it wasn't until February in March 2020, just before COVID struck, that an MRI showed that the lesion had grown and that my surgeon, my new surgeon, he wanted to cut into it. He goes, look, Joel, it's growing. We need to cut in. We need to get it out. Otherwise, your heart and lungs are going to stop and you're going to die. And he explained the deficits. He explained the negative side effects that were going to happen. But he said, look, if we don't do it, uh, when your heart and lungs stop, there's only there's only one direction for your health. And that's uh, that's not a good one. So I'm like, look, look, we have to do it. But yeah, circling back to the point of this video. If you don't biopsy, you will not know what extent of the tumor is that you're dealing with. It could be malignant, it could be fast growing, it could be benign, it could be slow growing. Um, yeah, as I said, surgeons can have a pretty good logical idea of what it could and couldn't be, but until they really get stuck in, they'll never know. And my example of that is my first surgeon told me it was nasty and then when my second surgeon actually cut into it, we, uh, we found out that it, it wasn't severely malignant and it wasn't really fast growing. And I'm still here five years on. So please, if possible, and I know it's a massive life-changing decision to uh, cut into brain tissue, but don't let people tell you what your tumor is without, without if possible, biopsying it because that's the only way you'll definitely definitively know. Um, so yeah, that's it guys. So I mentioned in my previous upload that I'm only making videos on topics that fellow warriors out there want to learn about. So this, this specific topic was a question that I got asked in a forum. 
So I've made a video on it. So I really need your help, fellow warriors out there in the community. I need to know what you want to know. I need you to put the, the questions in the comments of all my videos so that I can then go away and make a video on that and let you know my answer and what my, uh, what my insights were from my journey. So guys, please help me help more other fellow brain surgery warriors out there. It is a very lonely time. I want to show them passionately that they are not alone. I also want to give them some content to watch and give them a bit of positivity that you can fight on. You can be here after a brain tumor announcement and a brain surgery has been performed. So guys, to help me do that, a simple quick like and subscribe. That'll be greatly, greatly appreciated. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.